Hey, my name is Jason Nicholson. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about should you have an interest only mortgage or a repayment mortgage? What's the difference? What's the best one for you? This video will be useful for investors and homeowners alike. Or if you're just interested in knowing how do these different types of mortgages work? Now, before we jump into this, as always, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please do subscribe by smashing that subscribe and hitting the bell notification. We're nearly at 18,000 subscribers now, which is crazy. Also, while you're here, smash the like button, tickle the like button, do something to the like button. I know that upsets some of you, but it's important to get the views on YouTube. Help me out. Have you done that? Go on, press it right now. So let's talk mortgages. There's two types of mortgages, and the main two are interest only, got the new pen guys, those of you that know, interest only or repayment. Now, if you're an investor, you're more likely, meaning you've got a buy to let mortgage, you're more likely to have an interest only mortgage. If you own your house and you live in it, you're more likely to have a repayment mortgage. So let's talk about the benefits of both of those. So let's just say you're on a house that you live in, right? You're on a repayment mortgage and you borrow 100K and this is 25 years, which often mortgages are or start at least, right? So you borrow your 100K and over time, let's just say that's 10 years, so it's getting longer, over time, your debt is going down. And so as you go through your mortgage, that makes a big difference. Now, here's what happens. Interest in a mortgage is front loaded. So when you start to pay your mortgage, maybe you pay £100 a month. Let's just use easy numbers. So you pay £100 a month. And in the first few years along here, when you make a payment each month, it knocks off maybe out of 100, 10 pounds off your balance, right? 10 pounds off your balance. But as you get through, maybe to this point, when you make a payment, it will knock off 50 pounds off your balance and 50 pounds towards the interest. And as you get near the end, it's gonna be making 10 pounds towards the interest and 90 pounds towards your repayment. So it's knocking your balance down faster as you go through. And that's because like credit cards and a lot of loans and debt, they put the interest at the front because they wanna keep you debted longer. So that's what happens. And I had that recently on a, res on a residential property that I have. Um, and so when the interest rates were coming through, um, because I was paying mostly the capital down rather than the interest, when the interest rate rate went up like one percent it went up like 50 pence or something but if i was at the earlier part of that mortgage it could have gone up by hundreds it could have really had an impact on that i was just on a variable rate and it wasn't really impacting me at all but if i was on a variable rate at the beginning it would have been a big problem so this is what happens you buy a hundred grand house and in 25 years this house will have doubled here and it will have doubled around 20 years as well so it's going to be worth around 400k and you've got no debt, you've got no mortgage. Maybe your parents or grandparents or someone you know has done something similar to that. If you ask your parents or your grandparents, maybe, or you, maybe you bought a house for 50 grand that's now worth 500 grand. And so you barely got a mortgage or you paid down your mortgage and you've got this big asset. And that's how a repayment mortgage repayment mortgage works, and that's what most people are on. And let's look at interest only. So interest only, we borrow 100K, that's our 25 years, and what happens is this. The debt doesn't go down at all. Every month you're making a payment and you still owe 100 grand. Now that sounds crazy. Why would you wanna do that? Well, what's happening here is something called inflation. We didn't talk about inflation much for the last few years, and now, last two years, we talk about it all the time. But let's explain how it works in a property scenario. So we bought this house here for 100,000 pounds, and roughly every 10 years, the house doubles. So at this stage, at 10 years, the property will be worth 
200 grand and at 20 years it will be worth if all's gone well 400k now i know some of you are saying in your house well, house prices are just about to drop they've done that before 2008 they dropped 2008 compare the prices to today there's a big difference they've still gone up significantly right and so on average house prices go up every 10 years they have done ten, since 1066 this is inflation so you will owe in 20 years £100,000. Now, £100,000 in 20 years from now will probably be an annual salary. It will be close to that for the average person. Like, and that's what happens. When I started working in Burger King, I was on £3 an hour. Now the local Burger King pays £12 an hour, four times as much four times as much. That's crazy, right? And so that's what happens over time. Things get more expensive, but the debt that you owe stays the same. Now, at any point along here, you could switch to a repayment mortgage. So you could switch to a mortgage where you start paying it down. That's what you can do at the end of an interest-only term. Or you could just keep the interest going forever. You can refinance it and remortgage it. And this 100 grand debt that you've got here in 30 years or 40 years will be tiny. In fact, you might be able to pay it out with a small loan or your credit card balance at that time. It will be very, very different to what it is today. At some point, all houses will be worth a million pounds, two million pounds. I don't know if in our lifetime, probably, right? And so the average at the moment is uh, 250 grand for a house. So in 10 years, we'd be looking at the average maybe being closer to 500. And then 10 years from that, 20 years from now, the average will be closer to a million. That might seem unbelievable now, but 20 years is a long time. Think about how expensive things were when you were a child, right? It's very, very different. And so repayment suits, this is why this happens and why this is important. So repayment why the bank will only give you repayment on a residential property is because, unfortunately, one day you will die. You'll die or you'll retire. Your earnings potential is going to go down as you get older. So you need to clear that debt. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to pay them back the money. So that's why they insist that you complete the mortgage before you're 75, I think it is. Right. And so that's very, very important on your residential on this, on the buy to let, why they're happy for you to keep that debt going is because you're not paying it. Who's paying it? Your tenant. The tenant is going to be paying you rent every single month. And because of that, the bank could keep that going indefinitely. And a buy to let mortgage you can get when you're significantly older, you can get up until you die because someone can take that on. And as long as the numbers stack up and there's equity in the property, because they ask for a 25% deposit on this, whereas on this, you can get it from as low as a 5% deposit, because there's different risk for each of those, right? And so the bank is happy to just keep that debt going forever. As long as you pay it, as long as the tenant's paying you, they're making money, you're making money, everyone's happy. This one, because you're getting old, your earning income is going down, they require you to pay that debt off at some point. So that's the difference between both. Last thing is temporarily at the moment in the UK, you can flip a residential mortgage onto interest only. So that just means that your payments will go down significantly. You're only going to pay the interest part of the loan, but your debt isn't going down. That's fine. It can give you a breathing space right now while the market's particularly tough. So let, let me know any questions, thoughts or comments on this video. Do always comment on my videos below, even if it's just to say hi. Smash that like button. Why don't you go and check out some more content? Go and watch this video right here.